Sometimes your spirit is excited by the idea of a journey rather than reaching the destination itself. This is definitely the case for classic car enthusiasts Avish Maharaj and John Aritho, who are fascinated by their vehicles and the paths they've traveled through life. Let's go for a ride. On most sunny summer Sunday mornings, you'll find Avish Maharaj and John Arito behind the wheels of their classic vehicles en route to a leisurely breakfast with the family. This is a great opportunity for quality time and relaxation, except when John and Avish must focus all their attention on coordinating and organizing Durban's annual Concorde d'Elegance. Having run out of garage space at home, the two enthusiasts have found safe accommodation for their oldsters at Virginia Airport, which is where they'd arranged to meet Karusha. If you search for the meaning of community, you'll find the definition as people who share common interests, such as the case of cooking clubs, football fanatics, and Game of Thrones diehards. The stronger the passion, the closer the community, and that is definitely the case with classic car owners and enthusiasts. John and Avish have partnered up to collaborate on various initiatives around classic cars, and I can't wait to find out more. Yes, I need to. Actually, my pleasure. Yeah. John, Avish. Hello. Such a pleasure. Hi, How are you guys? Good to Thank see you. you. Good. Such a beautiful day. What are we doing here? Well, you're here to get introduced to some of our classics and also to talk a little bit about the beautiful event that we have here in Durban, the Concord Elegance Durban. How did you guys meet? John and I met at a motoring event right here in Natal, and we just found a kindred soul to each other and became the best of friends. And where did your love of classic cars come from? I lived in India and I had an old motorbike called the Enfield Bullet and then um, I moved into to, to Kenya where I took one of my mom's old vehicles and we started restoring it and that's kind of when the bug set in. And yourself, Avish? I started at a very early age. My dad had a lot of classic vehicles that he used to restore so from five or six years old I used to be his spanner boy and uh, that's where my love for classic cars came through. Do you drive a classic car every day? Yes, I do. I drive many of my classics on a daily basis. They're such beautiful vehicles that I wouldn't see myself driving anything else. I agree. I find it hard to drive a modern car, you know, with all the gizmos, you know. I don't know if it's you driving the car or the car's driving you. What is a classic car? I think whatever brings back the nostalgia, whatever brings back the memories for people is the definition of a classic car in their minds. How do you manage to maintain classic cars now that workshops or service areas may not cater for them anymore? We just came back from Germany where the value of classic cars has grown exponentially over the last 10 years. Companies have started developing classic car outlets or units where they remanufacture the old parts to keep that industry going. So the good story about it is that classic cars are there to stay. Of course, with a modern day car, as soon as you drive it, it appreciates in value. At what point does it start becoming an investment? Once people start to remember their younger days or what their families had, then you get people looking for these vehicles. And as they buy the vehicles up and the numbers that are for sale start to drop, then the demand increases. And as we move into the modern age, how do you keep that enthusiasm going? In fact, an analogy that I always like to use is that you can invest in gold, you can invest in the stock market, in unit trust. When those markets crash, you're left with absolutely nothing. When you invest in a classic vehicle, your vehicle tomorrow could be worth nothing, but you can still take it, put the top down, drive down the beach road on a Sunday afternoon and it'll give you a feeling like nothing else in the world. So you never ever lose in a classic vehicle. So the concourse not only brings together classic car enthusiasts, but service providers as well. We're bringing restorers of various forms, the people that help restore seats, uh, do paint work properly, do chrome work properly. But you've got an office job like you and I, you can see it and get the right people to actually get your vehicle back in shape. Is a classic car only about how much value it has or is there some sentimental role? It's about nostalgia, you know, the cars that resonate to you. Those cars are also growing in value based on how well you keep them and which is why our concourse is there to give you that platform to showcase and continue perfecting it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, it was so cool. <laughs> In today's world of keyless ignitions and autonomous cars, there's something to be said for the direct tactile interaction of driver and vehicle without a digital interface. 